Hey, rich friends, it's your girl Cha Cha reporting live from the Money Mantra, and we are back with another Forex education video. The purpose of this channel is to help as many people as possible become independent and profitable traders. So, if that's something that you're interested in, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. If you get to the end of this video and you find that it's helpful, leave me a comment. Let me know what you learned. Give me a thumbs up, but more importantly, share this video with another trader who you think that it could be helpful to. If you want to stay up to date with my trade ideas and chart analysis, you can follow me on TradingView. And if you need more one-on-one -on -one assistance, you can register for personal mentorship. And all of that information is down below in my description box. So in today's quick video, I'm going to be going over a trade that I dropped in the chat for my rich friends. And um, it was an NZD USD trade. Um, as we can see, I dropped this trade idea on August 16th, 2023 by the timestamp from TradingView. Um, and it was suggested for a sell at market execution or a sell limit at 0 0.59200 or higher. I set my stop loss for 40 pips, my TP1 for 40 pips for a one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio, 60 pips for a one-to-one point five risk to reward ratio, and a TP3 of 80 pips for a one-to-two risk to reward ratio. So I am going to be letting you guys know why I decided to take this trade, but I was a little disappointed to find out that when I had woken up this morning that this trade had actually hit stop loss by three tiny little pips. Um, so as you can see, my stop loss was at 596.00 and the market actually got up to 59.630. So I'm going to be showing you guys why I decided to take this trade. And then we're going to be looking at how the trade actually played out. So we're going to go back to here. Uh, which was my entry candle. So the strategy that I use consists of two EMAs, which are my trend indicators. Um, you can use any trend indicator that you want on your chart, but the ones that I choose to use are the EMAs because they're pretty simple to um, analyze. Simply put, if my candles are falling below the EMAs, like I can see that they are here, right? you'll notice that the EMAs act as a resistance or a selling point. So you'll notice the candles will get close to one or both of the EMAs and then it'll sell, right? It's coasting on the EMAs and then it's selling. It gets close to the EMA and then it sells. It gets close to the even the second EMA and it sells. So the moment that I see the candles are below the EMAs, I'm going to be looking for sell opportunities, which is what I did in this case. And I just want to show you guys vice versa when the market where the candles are falling above one or both of the EMAs, the EMAs act as a trampoline. So if the candles are above, you see the candles come down, go up, comes down, it goes up. It's only going to come back down to the EMA, right? That's how we know that a buying trend is starting or continuing. So for me, the candles were below the EMAs. That's my first two confirmations that I should sell. The second thing I look for, um, is on my momentum indicator, which is here. My momentum indicator is just simply a line indicator. You'll notice that it tends to mimic the market. So let's look at this little section when the market was going down, uh, the momentum indicator was also facing down. Um, and same thing when the momentum is going up, right? The market will tend to go up as well. So if my momentum indicator is facing down, but also below zero, so you'll see a negative number here, that confirms to me that the trend is bearish and I'm most likely gonna go for a sell. Um, and with my stochastic, I like for my stochastic, both of these numbers should be below 50. And between these two lines, the orange line should actually be on top of that blue line. Um, and that's gonna be another bearish confirmation for me. So I pretty much decided to take this trade for a sell. Um, again, I did my 40 pip TP and my 40 pip stop loss. Um, we're going to go ahead and see how this trade actually played out. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit play. So we can see that the trade was selling nicely. Um, and we can see right where it actually tapped out um, and hit our stop loss right there. Um, so had the stop loss been just slightly higher, uh, maybe a few pips higher, uh, we will still be in this trade because it is on its way uh, down to the profit zone. So I'm not really upset about how this trade turned out. Um, it's a learning experience. 
You have to be flexible with your stop losses and TPs, especially if you are going to be using market execution. So I really hope that this was helpful. And yeah, let me know if you learned something. Until next time, rich friends.